What's up guys, Badger back. I know it's been a minute since we made a GTA 5 video, but I just got my hands on a PS5. So we're going to talk about everything that you need to know when transferring your modded account over. Because I know a lot of people still have questions on that. Especially since I made a video on this topic 7 months ago. I didn't have a PS5 at that particular time, but I told you guys the information that you needed to take. The steps that you needed to take to transfer that particular account over and a lot of people still have questions and I know most of you guys are visual learners and you need to see certain things so you can get a better understanding of how this new transferring method works so we're gonna start off by saying you cannot go from Xbox to the PS5 you can't go from PlayStation to the Xbox Series X you can't do it and I'm gonna tell you why you can't do it because you never had a modded account on those particular platforms. Now, if you do, then you don't have to worry about it. You can just switch back and forth as you go, right? But most of you guys don't. So if you're on Xbox and you wanna to come to PS5, you can't, you have to start over completely. But if you're PS4 and you go to the PS5, you can continue your progression of your GTA Online character. Same thing for Xbox. If you're Xbox and you're going to Xbox, series x you can continue your char online character progression that's how that works so it says here your current progression and accomplishments in both grand theft auto online and red dead online will also carry over provided you are using the same playstation network or xbox live account on the new consoles right so you have to stay on the exact same account to carry over that particular character now, I know a lot of you guys got a lot of dummy accounts, meaning your modded account, and you want to transfer that modded account over, and you don't have Xbox Live on that particular account, or you don't have PlayStation Plus on those accounts, right? So, the progression system that Sony and Microsoft offers, right, when you pay for your subscription for, you know, Xbox Live and PlayStation Plus, it gives you a feature to upload your saved data files onto your account now the saved data files are for your story mode progression which means that anything that you did in the story mode side of grand theft auto will also carry over but if you don't have xbox live or playstation plus you don't have to worry about that you still can transfer your character over as you guys see from the footage in the background pretty much what i'm doing I'm transferring over one of my accounts that does not have PlayStation Plus. So, if you guys don't care about the story, then you don't have to worry about that part. You still can transfer your account over. Remember what I said, that's PlayStation to PlayStation and Xbox to Xbox. And it seems to me that a lot of people keep asking that because people confuse the old way of transferring in today's time of 2021 you know back then around like i want to say 2015 2016 rockstar allowed us to still transfer characters over from ps3 or xbox to the next generation of consoles of those times but rockstar got rid of that transfer method you know back then you was able to sign into social club link your account that you your um account and console that you're going to be transferring to and then when you sign into your um xbox live or playstation plus account you hit gta go to online and had an option where you can click transfer character which transfer all your saved data over to you know xbox or the ps4 pro it transferred those features over but we don't have that anymore rockstar got rid of that transferring method because it was just a huge pandemic of modded accounts you know you had unlimited snacks double roll uh, modded vehicles, modded run, you had everything, you own everything in the game, and Rockstar don't want that. So, but like I'm saying now, you still can bring those accounts over. You're just not gonna be able to transfer the old way, which is why, why people believe that they can switch platforms. And I'm gonna say it again, you cannot, sadly to say, you cannot, and I advise anyone out there to not buy a modded account just because you made the mistake of coming from Xbox to PS5 because chances are the person that you bought it from might end up taking it back from you because you don't have the actual birth date or the console, the original console that that account was made on. There's a lot of stuff that you need 
to secure that particular account. So that's how that worked. So as you can see, I loaded up into Grand Theft Auto Online on the PS5 with my modded account. I still have my money that I had, even though it's not a lot. I have my modded vehicles. I have all my properties, uh, my modded outfits. I have all of that stuff. I still have my fast run, as you guys can see. So that's how that process works now. And if you guys have any questions or anything that you need to know that you're not understanding, then put it down in the comment section. I do reply. I do respond to all my comments. So, yo, this is your boy Badger signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be breezy. I'm out. Peace.